Welcome everyone. Today we'll learn how to implement the container and presentational pattern in Angular. So go to VS Code and create a new Angular application. Open a new terminal and type ngn. Define the name. Open the containing folder. We'll use PrimeNG as a CSS library. So let's verify the Angular CLI version. Type ngp. We'll use the latest version of Angular, which is version 19. Clear the console and go to the PrimeNG documentation. Click the get the started button. So in the installation, we'll copy this npm command to install PrimeNG. Go back and execute the command. Go back and we need to copy uh, this code to add the required providers for PrimeNG. So go to the add config file and add these lines. Go back and copy the import lines. Let's save it. We'll also install PrimeFlex, which is the CSS utility library and Prime icons. So clear the console and type npm i prime flats let's get the command and type npm i prime icons so go to the global styles file to import the required css styles for prime flats and prime icons import from node modules prime flats css style and similarly for prime icons let's save it the container presentational pattern aims to separate the application logic from the ui view Let's start with the container component that decides what data is shown to the user. So open a new terminal and create a new component. So type nggc using the Angular CLI. We'll create a new product list component to display products in this Angular application. Go to the HTML, go back to the PrimeNG documentation, go to the components, and we'll search for a carousel component. Scroll down and we'll use this basic template to display the products. So copy the HTML, go back, uh, remove the unstrike code, we'll remove the responsive options, then um, scroll and we'll show four items in the carousel. We'll remove the tag and we'll import the carousel module and the button module in the TypeScript file. Save it and go to the TypeScript file. Go back and copy the carousel module add this in the input section and similarly for the button module for PrimeNG. Let's save it. The container component is responsible for managing user data. We'll assume that we retrieve data from external dependency. So I will copy some products. We'll create this list of products with image, name and price. So create a new product interface. In the same terminal type ngg i and create a product interface. Add the reference, add, add respective properties. Let's save it. Now go back to the HTML and bind the input properties. This source attribute corresponds to the image URL. Remove this alt attribute. We have the product name and the product price. Let's save it. Now open the first terminal and we'll type ngs to set the application. Navigate to the Angular application. We need to go to the app component.html and remove the sample code. We'll render the add product list component and we have the list of products using the carousel component for PrimeNG. Let's do a quick fit in these CSS styles for the price and these buttons. So go to PrimeFlex documentation, go to get the started button and we'll search in this part for flat bots, justify content, scroll down and we'll use this space between classes. So copy these classes, go back to Visual Studio, go to the HTML and replace these classes. Let's save it and it looks much better. The second component in this pattern is the presentational component that displays data to the UI. So we'll create a new product component to display this image, the name and price and these buttons. So go back to VS Code, go to the second terminal and create a new component called product view. Move this div to the new component. So go to the product view HTML. Let's paste it. We'll communicate the container and presentational components with input and output decorators. So go to the TypeScript file for the product view component. Let's remove these files. So here I will create a new input property. We also need to import the button module. So go to the product list component and copy the button module. Let's save all. And now in this product list component, we render the product view. The main purpose of the container component is to provide data to presentational components. So we'll pass the product to the presentational component, save all, go back to the Angular application, and we have the same UI. 
but in this case we're using the presentational component to display the product data and the container component to display the carousel component we can also send user events from the presentational component to the container component so in this case we'll send two events one to edit a product with the first icon we'll place this hat icon and the second event is to add a product to the shopping cart so go back to the product build html and replace this icon using a pencil icon go to the TypeScript file and we'll add a new output based function to send an event to the container component so create a new on edit property which is an output based function of type product go back to the html and in the first icon we'll add a new on click event we'll call the on edit and we'll emit a new value which is the product itself let's save it now go to the container component and we'll handle the event We'll render a simple form to display the name and the price fields from the product edited. So go to Prime Flats. We'll go to Grid, a form layout, and we'll use this a vertical layout with these two fields to display the name and the price. Let's copy these fields and go back. We'll also add a button. Let's add this submit button and we'll add a div. Render this form when the product to edit variable exists. So add a new ng if condition. We'll add a new property called product to edit. If the product to edit is defined, we'll render this simple form. So let's handle the event. So we'll set this product to edit variable based on the event. So go back to the TypeScript file from the product list and add this property let's save it go back to the html and we also need to import the common module to use the ng if directive let's save it so in the product list component we'll display the name and the price properties from the product edited let's bind the value attribute based on the product to edit that name and similarly for the second input which is the price let's save it go back to the container presentation component Send a user event from the presentational component. So click in this pencil icon. As you will see, we're rendering a simple form in the container component. The container component handles the events from the presentational component. So add a second event to add a product to the shopping cart. So go back to the product view HTML and we'll add a new on click event. But before that, go to the TypeScript file and add a second output based function call on add to cart we'll send just the product name so in the html add an on click event and we'll call uh, this output base function and emit the name we'll send the name the container component so go to the html and handle this event so we'll call a show message function by passing the product name We'll display a toast component to display a message that the product is added to the cart. So go back to the primary documentation and search for toast. As you will see in the messages section, we have toast. So we need to import the toast module and copy this line in the HTML. So go back to Visual Studio and from the product list, we'll add this line and add the toast module in the import section let's save it go back to the html and at the bottom of this html we'll add the toast we'll add an attribute to define the position at the bottom center to see the message and create the function to actually show the message to the user so go to the new function created and replace the name of this event as product name go back to the pranigy documentation and how to display the message so let's open the TypeScript sample code and we'll copy this part using the message service class from Pranigy to display the message so copy this line and we need to inject this message service via construction injection import for Pranigy and finally it's important to add the message service into the provider section and we'll change the detail We'll add bad tits to add interpolation and we'll show message that product name added to cart. Let's save it and test. 
So click in any shopping cart button. As you will see, the product name is added to cart. It's the second user event that we're sending from the presentation component to the container component. So in this demo, we'll learn how to apply the container and presentational pattern in Angular.